I've wanted this bag for at least four years, maybe longer. <laughs> Find out what I finally got and I love it. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel AKB Bags and thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. Yes, I finally got this bag. I have contemplated for years on getting this bag, but the size kind of didn't appeal to me. I wasn't sure about some features and I got the best deal on this bag and this bag is a Dooney and Burke as you saw in the thumbnail and they still carry this bag and I got it for a steal and so let me just get to it because I know that's what you're waiting for. This would be my Florentine domed buckle satchel. Yes, I know I wasn't into big bags, okay? I'm eating my words. I love this bag. It is big. It is a big bag. <laughs> but the details and the pristine condition of this Florentine leather, there's the buckles, the 24 karat plated hardware, and the whip stitching actually is, if I can focus it, the same color as the leather. So I believe this is an older model and they do certain revisions as they go through the years well i'm not sure what year this one is uh but it is beautiful i mean excellent condition nothing only thing i could see wrong with it was right here there's a loose thread which i can cut <laughs> and it has the tassels on the side with the green underneath beautiful it has the back pocket right here let's see if the big iphone fits let's see oh yeah that's fine this is the pro max 15 pro max fits perfect i mean just look at the leather the leather on florentine and it still it still smells like they barely used it <laughs> but that's the thing with florentine it still smells years after you get this kind of leather. <laughs> There's no corner wear. I, I looked this bag over. I bought it off Poshmark and it has the dust bag inside. I don't know if I'm focusing or not. Hopefully I am on that. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful buckles. There's no tarnish. <laughs> I think that whoever owned this really took care of their bags and I appreciate that so much. <laughs> but, and then here's the bottom. I mean, this tells you how big it is, <laughs> but it does have feet. So that is like the outside. It, I'm not sure there's any scratches. I haven't noticed any yet because I already, of course, unboxed it, but look how smooth this leather is hardly any pebbling with of course the florentine duck patch right there oh my gosh why did it take me so long to get this bag it is beautiful beautifully made has a back pocket for your phone now this is what i wasn't sure about is the shoulder drop and it's close to a drop that wouldn't work for me but it does so let me give you the measurements of this drop so we're at eight inches so that's the shortest I want to go for a shoulder bag so here we go see there's just a little bit of room it's not the best you know shoulder bag but you can kind of double up over that's how I get my shoulder straps to stay if there's two and yeah, it fits perfect. And the silhouette of this bag is pretty narrow unless you're at the bottom. So it sits against your body perfectly. Just look at this. Florentine, black, black Florentine. And 
It's called the, the domed buckle satchel. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to, I got to show you the inside. Here it has the little braided zipper pull, smooth zipper. I'll get to the price at the end. The giant ugly dust bag that I will never probably use has a key keeper inside and here is the mouth of this thing. It can hold everything. Everything. And it has the red interior, the normal setup of the zipper on that side and that side just has one open slip pocket right there. And on this other side it has one slip pocket there and one slip pocket there. No stains at all. Beautiful, beautiful bag. It just has a very little amount of green suede. Some bags have them like all the way down there, but this one does not. It has the sticker, the label inside, and this is the label that you always want to see if you're buying secondhand is this label. It might be upside down, it probably is. And a serial number on the back. Authenticity check. A beautiful, beautiful Florentine. I have not even cleaned this bag. Oh, I haven't even touched it. I It's in that good of condition. The leather is not, not dry feeling. It is amazing. Get you one of these Florentine dome buckle satchels. This is uh, my formerly known as the small satchel, okay? And it has yellow stitching. This one does not have yellow stitching. It, it is a more muted blending of just the darker thread. And this also has it around the patch. This one does not. And then something interesting is the whip stitching on my satchel is brown. And so I don't know when that changed. Uh, if they used to be matching with the black or not. But on this one, it is black little whip stitching on it. I love that. I mean, I still love my black beauty here. It's amazing. I can't say anything is wrong with this one either, but now I'm like, woo, look at that. I don't know why I got a big bag, but I saw the condition, I saw the price, and they were wanting to move it. And I'm like, you know what? It is way too gorgeous to be not mine. Let me give you the measurements. We know the shoulder drop is eight. So the bottom is 15, but if you go from, from here to here, oh, sorry, here to here, it's 13. And as you can see, it has the depth much wider than it goes up. So let me give you that measurement. Seven at the bottom, and it just goes up to around two. This bag will hold everything that you need, but it will weight you down. So let me weigh what this one weighs versus my satchel. This by itself empty weighs two pounds, six ounces. That's a heavy bag, but I don't care. It is gorgeous. And like I said, if it didn't fit over my shoulders, I would not buy this bag because of the weight. Uh, I need some kind of strap that will go over and this one does. So 2.2 pounds, six ounces for the domed buckle satchel. And the Florentine, I've weighed it before. I emptied this bag out and let me weigh it again for you. Okay. So the satchel is two pounds, seven ounces. So this is actually slightly heavier than my new Florentine domed buckle satchel. <laughs> so it's a little bit lighter, not 
like I can tell a difference so just be aware these are both not lightweight bags <laughs> but the details like I you just can't beat Dooney quality I mean look at the sides amazing amazing the detail minus this one small thread that is all I see that is wrong with it inside is clean okay these so, bags I believe they're on I love Dooney or they're on Dooney and Burke website I will link them down below but the second hand market for these typically is around 200 sometimes more depending on the color and I've never seen one at this price. <laughs> I bought this off Poshmark and I believe new on Dooney and Burke's website, they're around 300 new, I believe, and, and, and typically there's sales. I got this basically brand new, to me, buckle satchel for $112 all in. Florentine leather is more expensive than pebbled leather. So $112 for this beautiful Florentine leather bag is a steal. <laughs> so I am finally so happy that I got one of those bags. Like I said, I've been looking at videos for years and Says What has a lot of them. I've watched her videos on them, watched, you know, reviews all over the place on them. They are amazing, but they are big and they are heavy. So, but if you don't care about that and you just want a beautiful Florentine leather bag, satchel, the satchel and this bag are quality that should be thousands of dollars if they were a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci or Saint Laurent. You know, those are all prices that would be way out of my budget anyway for Florentine leather made in Italy. So that is uh, my reveal of this gorgeous, gorgeous new domed buckle satchel. Tell me if you have one down below, because I know that a lot of people have had them. They probably sold them, they might have some. And I wonder if yours has the matching whip stitching on the handles. Let me know down below as well, because I'm curious. If, like, does that mean this is an older domed satchel? Which I think it is. But you can't tell. <laughs> uh, let me know if you just don't want to buy it because of how big it is or the weight. I mean, the weight affects a lot of people. And I understand having shoulder pains myself. I have to alternate a lot, but yeah, it's a good bag. I did sell my small Florentine messenger bag to one of my subscribers. So it has new life at a new home and I appreciate it, Barb. Thank you. And I wanted to show you my latest thrift find up close. It's this Lauren Ralph Lauren and it had the sticker still on the protective sticker was still on this uh, little logo right here which I took off and this is like a black straw type of material with the leather accent going around it and it does have a back pocket and it's a nice shoulder drop really nice size back pocket I'll show you the inside it's very clean on the inside it, it has a zippered compartment in the middle it has two sides like that and then you saw the zipper pocket and yeah it's a it's a nice nice bag if you're looking for a straw wicker type material with this is a leather strap though it is so cute and I got it for I'm not gonna tell you cuz you won't believe me anyway <laughs> but anyway this one's for sale it has details of Ralph Lauren right there yeah it's it's a a little tarnish on the buckles but for the most part it's in beautiful condition so it is for sale anyway let me know what you think of my my new large bag I know I'm eating my words <laughs> once I said do you carry big bags anymore like a month or two later, I'm carrying big bags. <laughs>
<laughs> so I'm I'm guessing my trend now is big bags, but I still put the same amount of items in the big bags. That's what's important. Don't overfill it, especially the Florentine leather. You will be carrying a dumbbell as it is <laughs> in your purse. So thank you for watching. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And uh, subscribe to my channel. It's free. I have a goal of 2,000 subscribers. And I'm inching up to that point. So I would love to do a giveaway. And don't forget to hit, hit the bell so you won't miss my future videos. I know the algorithm has been all over the place with my videos at least. And people are watching a little bit less. Oh, sorry, my dog back there. <laughs> That's Nova. She's uh, whining a little bit. She wanted in here. Anyway, thank you all for subscribing to my channel, watching. Let me know what you think of my new bag because my dog's whining. I will get off here. And you have a great day or night or whenever you watch this. And until next time, bye.